Some visionary Sacramento photographers will be taking their talents to the big screen with a special event at the Crest Theater tomorrow. This is called Rise of the Real, and the proceeds will benefit Shriners Children's Hospital. And KCRA3's Mike Carroll spent some time with these artists and friends. Do a lot of weddings and also do some movies on the side. This group of friends and camera buffs. This is what I just took inside. Who yeah, call themselves 14. Uprise Collective, put on photographic art shows as fundraisers for organizations such as Shriners Hospital. And he took care of my son when he was young. And that's really, really special to me. So it means a lot to be able to give back to them. Everybody knows about the Crest Theater. So recently, when the managers of the Crest Theater asked if they'd like to hold an event there. Why don't we make a film festival out of it? It's amazing every time you walk in here. You know. A film festival at the Crest sounds like a natural fit, but is completely new territory for Felipe Silva. Putting on a film festival, never been to a film festival. Luckily, I have friends who have a lot more experience than I do. My uh, video collapse is basically a time-lapse video I've done with this camera. The films are largely experimental, art pieces, which is fitting for the crest. This is like a piece of art. I like seeing things in a way that you can't see them anywhere else. All original films by local artists to be seen on the biggest canvas an artist could fill. My greatest hope of this event is everybody come and get to see how Sacramento is full of like arts and creative people. At the Crest Theater in downtown Sacramento, I'm Mike Carroll, KCRA 3 News. Wow, just lots of wow going on there. Yeah. So cool. The doors at the Crest opening tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Tickets are only $16 and they're available at the door or online again all the proceeds go to Shriners Hospital. We have a lot of talented photographers here at our station. Mike Carroll, the, the, the photographer who shot that, being one of them. And it, it would be very hard to know unless you know, but he shot that entire story using a GoPro just because he wanted to try that style. So you saw some unique perspectives that you don't see with a, one of the bigger news cameras, and that's because he was uh, doing an Carroll. artistic <laughs> approach. That is Mike Carroll.